Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, in our Fortify service providers, that means into the providers, that is a Fortify service providers, in our register method, I have updated some of the things and also I load that our controller, because that will be customized for our admin, right? And here I pass that our auth guard will be as an admin. Perfect. Now I want to work in our controller. So I have already created on the admin controller. As I told you, if you go to our route list, by default, our logging is working for the authenticated session controller store method and also authenticated session controller as a create method, right? That is our authenticated session controller. Now I want to copy it because that will be for our default user. Now I copy it and now in our admin controller area here, I simply paste it. Okay. I simply paste it or rather than also you have to update the class better i want to make it click as a control z first of all i want to do and to take it in here so now we have to update our namespace all right we have to update that namespace that will be a controller i want to update that namespace and also our controller name class name will be as a admin controller right so that will be our controller name and here now i want to remove it and make that sure there have no space if you have any space then that you will get some of the error okay make that sure there have no space which is totally fine now our admin controller there is a guard there's a constructor i have already discussed about that things with you there is a create method there is a store method right so into the store there is a locking response okay so here right now they're using that attempt to authenticate and also redirect to factor authenticable both of these file now actually access our default one you can see both of these actually access our default one that is a one and also there is a one so that is both of these access the default one now i want to do to access our um, fortify here i have already take our attempt to authenticate and then redirect to factor authenticable right so better i cut it I cut it and here I want to do and to paste it and also I cut it for your better understanding I'm actually cutting it rather than you can also add the things in here right now it's totally fine it's totally fine now our, here our attempt to authenticate not will be access our default one that will be access our I have already take it into the fortify folder so that is in our app right so that will be the same process as the app I want to update that name that is app backslash and then the actions backslash and then the fortify and then that will be the at attempt to authenticate so that file will be accessible for the admin guard okay and also the same for our re redirect i want to simply paste it perfect so here i simply update both of these okay friend also one things you have to understand by our because i will actually copy everything from our default one right see so into the default one in our authenticated session controller here we get it from to the default position right that is authenticated session controller that is our store method so into the store method here you can see that is one of the logging response so if you copy it i want to first of all show you with the control p I want to search it as a logging response. So into the logging response, you can see there is a comes from to the vendor folder, Laravel, Fortify, SRC, HTTP responses, and that is a logging responses. So into the logging responses, you can see it's now redirect to the Fortify, redirect to the logging, right? Now I want to do, I want to redirect to the another page. For our admin, I want to do this work. For doing this right now, I want to go again our um, admin controller because all that our authenticated session I have copied, now I have added it in our admin controller, right? See so to the admin controller, you can see that is the same as a locking response. So I want to create one of the new response. So if you want to create it in our app, and then that is our HTTP here, I want to create one of the new folder. Okay, I simply create on the new folder and I just create another new response so i make it as a responses okay i created one of the new folder as a responses so this type of one of the folder i simply created and here i want to create another same name okay you can create the different name right now i can use the same name click as a save as and now i want to create another file as a logging okay logging response oh, logging response logging response dot p in php so this type of one of the file I simply created. Okay, there is a logging response.php. I want to copy everything from here that I have already checked. There is a logging default one I want to take. Again, I want to go there. 
is not suggested in here better uh, again search it with the logging response that will be the our vendor okay vendor laravel 45 logging response dot php here i want to search it now you can see there is a logging better i copy everything from here i copy everything now in i have created as a 40 that is a logging response here i paste it okay i simply paste it so everything will be just like that same okay everything will be just like them same only for the admin that will be redirect to the intent intent 45 redirect we don't need this i only want to do directly i want to access it okay here i want to direct access our admin slash dashboard okay dashboard this type of one of the route here I want to do I want to access okay so I will also create that type of one of the route in our web route PHP okay so here we'll create it so I hope it's very much clear to you so that is our authenticated that is a locking section is by default working for our user now I have to take everything in our admin controller so that is also a stored method now we are access our locking response so for the logging response now that will be redirect to the admin dashboard right so now we have to also access it if you want to access it that means we have to use it i want to do i want to use i want to use that is in our which place that is in our app right app backslash and then the http and then back backslash and then the response right that is i have named that folder name as a responses so that will be as a response says okay that is our responses folder and into the responses folder i name it I name it our name will be as a logging response right now I simply loaded that logging response right now for our admin it's using our wish function it's now using our app as a logging response right so that is a logging response I have already loaded in here and that will be for our admin it's be redirect to the admin dashboard great I hope friend every part is very much clear to you so now we have to create some of the route okay we have to create some of the route now go to our web so this one is for the default one better i want to make it into the same line i better take it that is the config section and then there is a verified okay that will be the verified and then the group mm, perfect and that will be for the user when it will be done that will be returned direct to the slash dashboard right also now we have to add another one because in particular that position i name it as a admin dashboard right so here better i want to do that is also using another middleware so i better copy it and now i want to do to paste it so for the admin i want to create another middleware okay i will create this middleware later right now i name it as a admin so that will be i want to create another new middleware as a admin middleware that the config jd stream will be just like that same it will be when everything will be done admin will be locking then that will be redirect, redirect to the admin dashboard okay i make it as a admin dashboard so then that will be returned direct to the admin dashboard because mm, here into the locking response i name it as a admin dashboard right i hope it's very much clear to you what exactly the things we have to do and right now for both of these pages i'm using the same dashboard okay if you want to change it you can actually change it literally for the project we'll change it so that is another view dashboard i want to use for our user and also for the admin i have already discussed about that things with you there is a resources view and one of the default dashboard you can see there is a dashboard so for the user i use that same dashboard and for the admin i also want to do I want to access that same dashboard great and now i want to create two of this method like here i want to use that route okay i want to use that route and also i want to load on the middleware as i told you i will create one of the middleware as an admin so for the reasons i want to load on the group middleware okay so that will be one of the middleware i want to name it as an admin into this admin area i want to access that or admin middleware and i want to load on the group that will be the group and with the group area that will be on the function okay that will be on the function i want to do and to access it so if you want to access i want to load on the route okay that will be the route and then uh, that will be on the get method i want to create on the url that will be the admin sorry that will be the admin slash um, logging okay that will be as a admin logging because as i told you when you access that as a only logging but i refresh it when you access that logging that will be loaded one file and also for our admin when you want to access it that will be loaded another or same logging file okay here we have to allocate it now that is our admin logging here i want to access our controller 
I want to access our admin controller. So if you want to access this admin controller, here also you have to support it. I copy it. Now I want to use it. <clears throat> okay, so that will be use our app HTTP controllers backslash our controller name as an admin controller. Okay, here you have to add it. Now we are able to access our admin controller. I copy it. Now that will be the admin controller class. Okay, that is the admin controller class and here I want to do here I want to create our method our method I want to create another logging a logging logging form okay logging logging form so that will be one of the method now I want to create okay so here I want to create this type one of the method and also for restore this data I copy it and I paste it so that will be another one as a post method okay that will be as a post method and for the post our url will be same as a locking because if you go to our default one into the default you can see that is one of the get method as a locking and the post method as a locking so for the locking it's using the create method and also for the post logging it's actually using that store right store method so now i want to do the same things for the reasons our url will be as a admin logging and admin logging and here also one of the comma right that will be on the comma and also that will be on the comma great and now in our admin controller i want to create another new method as a logging form and also another one another one by default there have another one as a store right i want to do and to access that is store that is store and here i want to use that on name route so by default there is a name route i want to access that name okay i want to access that name route that will be as admin logging okay i use that as admin logging great so now we have to do we have to create our logging form and then store method okay better i want to continue this process i want to make this video in short as possible because that is little bit complicated but i am trying to explain everything one by one and also i for our every video i push this code to the github so i think they have no issues okay so i want to continue this process in our next video we'll create our method that is a logging form method so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video